This video is to help you understand how to do the problems on why are babies like hinges. If you take a look at the problems on this handout, you can see that now we are dividing terms with exponents. So uh, to help you out with that, the place where you should look at your uh, math toolkit is right here. So let me move that up. Okay, so this part of the toolkit is called a quotient of powers. And as you can see the example here, the two to the fifth power is being divided by two to the second power. So if you factor that out, you can make giant ones and you will end up with two to the third power. Or there's a rule that you can use, which is you take the term that or the exponent on the top and you subtract the exponent on the bottom from that. So that would be five minus two and you would get three. So the way that it's explained with symbols is if you've got x to the a power on as the numerator and x to the b power as the denominator, then you would subtract a minus b to get the exponent for um, the base of x. So that's on your toolkit and you can take another look at that later. But right now we're going to go ahead and do some problems on here as examples. So the first one I'm going to do is this pretty simple one, which is 9 to the, or sorry, n to the ninth power and n to the fifth power. So n to the ninth power is being divided by n to the fifth power. So if we follow our shortcut, all we need to do is subtract 5 from 9. So our answer would be n to the fourth power. And if we factor that out, so I'm going to say again, when in doubt, factor it out. <clears throat> so we'll use the factoring to check our answers. So n to the ninth power is n times n times n times n times n. Ugh, if only they'd given me an easier to write letter. n times n times n times n times n. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 9 n's. All right, now underneath that, we're going to do n to the fifth power. So five n's, n times n times n times n times n. All right, so n to the fifth power. Now what we can do is make giant ones out of these two n's, these two n's, these two, these two, and these two. So when we make a giant one, all that we have left are one, two, three, four n's. So all of this is equal to n to the fourth. And you can see that this answer, the factored answer, is the same answer that we got when we were using our shortcut. All right, so that's the first problem. 